Hello, guys. Hello. Mikhail and I are visiting one of the special forces units of our country, and today we will upgrade Pichinek machine guns. We will install the following elements of setup. We will install B-50 handguards, install B-51 rails, install PT-2 buttstocks, and we will install RK-2 grips at an angle of 45 degrees with B-25U rail. Let's get started with installation process. Let's start modernization with installation of PT-2 buttstock. This is a folding telescopic buttstock with a large range of adjustments. In the second half of the video we will demonstrate them. First, you need to remove the regular buttstock. This is often the most difficult part of PKM or PKP upgrade. Mikhail and I were lucky. On both Pichinecs, which we modernized for the video, it turned out to be easy to take it off. This is not always the case and may require more time and effort. When the regular buttstock is removed from machine gun, we install PT2. You should place it in the regular place of the buttstock and tighten the screws. First we bait, then we tighten well. After that you should adjust the buttstock for yourself. Adjust the length and the height of the cheek. The kit includes two cheeks, the second for very high sides. We will deal with adjustments a little bit later. The second element of upgrade that we will install is B-50 handguard. It consists of a large number of parts. We were asked to tell in details how to install it. Some time ago this was told in details by Zenitka CEO Nikolai Anatolievich Garbunov, who is also our chief designer. I will share this video with you, he installed B-50 on PKM, at the same time we will see the difference of PKM in comparison with Pichinyak. The top rail is actually not mandatory. It is needed if we install a laser there. In other cases it is not needed. Well, either in the case you don't want to get burnt when you are holding there. These six screws are, in fact, the power element. And also loosen these hooks, remove them. To do this you need a small hex key, it is also included into the kit. If we saw B-50 disassembled from the factory, as it was originally done, people get confused how to assemble it. If a person took it apart himself, he will be able to put it back together. The space is needed in order to… on different machine guns there are different heights. There are actually two heights, do not understand why, but two specific heights, so you either need it or not. Now we will find out if it is needed. We put the bottom part, this one from above, need it. We bait it. Just when it is not needed, you immediately see that it is not needed, when there is already some experience with installation. Do not tighten, install on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
I baited one screw so that thing does not fall. Now we are tightening them. For beginning just stretch. Well, as you do it on wheels. In a circle. Here you may put this hook, or may not, depending on how you want it. In this case you may not install it, because it does not make sense here. And what is it for? To strengthen up this part, that is, if we put the laser here in this place. But it's actually tough enough. Done! Now it must be tightened. That is, we installed it. Now the top part can be installed. It can be placed on high bars for Pichinek or for PKM on low ones. Inserted low pass. Put the upper part of the handguard on them. The same way, bait first. The handle is moving freely. Done. Actually, hooks also can be installed, but it is just for additional reliability. You just screw them in and that's it. We return to Mikhail, he is installing bars for the top rail. As you can see, they are higher in Pichinek than in Pikea. Here I will answer a question that machine gunners often ask. Is it possible to change the barrel on PKM and PKP machine guns with B50 handguard installed? If we are talking about Pichinek machine gun, then yes, it is possible to replace the barrel with B50 handguard installed. If we are talking about PKPKM, then it is possible partially. I will explain. It is possible if B50 is installed without the upper part, the one with the bars. Its installation is optional, as previously noted. Next, we install B51 rail. There was a separate video about this earlier. First of all, you need to knock out the regular hinge. The most important thing to remember during the installation process is that you cannot knock out the regular hinge without a drift pin. The drift pin is in the kit. This is important, otherwise the springs will fall out of the machine gun mechanism and it will be difficult to put them back together. So first Mikhail knocked out the hinge and a drift pin took its place. By the way, the kit has two hinges. You use one to install B51 and the second may be needed in case you got a new machine gun, you want to place B51 on it and give the old machine gun back to gun storage room for permanent storage. This is where you will need another hinge, 
which you will use to return the machine gun to its original state. Now Mikhail is hammering in the hinge, knocking out a drift pin. Here, of course, you need a hammer. After the hinge is hammered, it is necessary to put a washer on it, then a splint pin. When the splint pin is installed, be sure to tighten the screw on the top of the rail. There are numbers there. You need opening number 9. After the screw is tightened, B51 is installed. The final step in this setup – Mikhail will install RK2 grip at an angle of 45 degrees. To do this, he will need RK2 grip and B25U rail. It is necessary to remove the upper part from RK2 and replace it with B25U. These products are convenient for a machine gun, as they allow you to bypass the magazine box and provide a comfortable grip. B25U is also compatible with our other grips such as RK0, RK1, RK4, RK6. On a machine gun, RK2 is preferable because it is the longest that we have. After installation of B25U, you should choose a convenient place on the bottom Picatinny rail of B50 handguard to install. From what else could be added to this setup, I would also recommend RK3P pistol grip. After the first pichinyak, we customize the second one, and then we explain stock adjustments to machine gun. The machine gun is upgraded. There are many additional reliable places for sights and additional equipment. The buttstock now can be folded and adjusted to fit your anatomy. It has become more functional and more convenient. Our buttstock, which can be installed on Pichinyak machine gun as well as on Kalashnikov machine gun, has adjustments both for the height of the cheek and also for the length of the buttstock – shorter, longer, and it also folds. There is also double fixation, that is the screw that can be unscrewed, also there are buttons that are fixed here. For its better tightening, there is a special key, which is attached with a magnet into the buttstock itself. We put, we press, and it allows you to tighten well. Or, when it is unscrewed, we unscrew the screw by hand, press the button, the buttstock is folded. Done. And fixed. When unfolding, press another button. Done. The buttstock is fixed, even if we do not tighten the screw, that is, the buttstock does not fold. But for, let's say, performing tasks, it is better to tighten it. And fix. There is also one more screw, which we have here. We loosen it, we press on it and make it longer. Also, the length that we need is fixed. There is also a fixation. Insert the key. Done. Fixed. Also cheek. We press, unscrew. If it's difficult, for example, to unscrew, there are special slots here, insert and twist. We take out the cheek to the height that is needed. Done. 
and fix it back. Everything is fixed. And try to pick it up how convenient it is to throw it up when the handle is extended at an angle of 45 degrees. I need it shorter. Well, you can adjust the length on your own. Take the key. Yes, we press up and unscrew. No, we press the button and move forward, yes. And we just tighten it, right? Yes, we spin back, yes. Tighten with the key so that it does not loosen. You need to loosen more. And there is one more chick in the kit, yes, which has a larger height for additional equipment if people use a thermal imager, night device. About the front grip, if it's not enough, you can still move it forward. No, on the contrary, it's good. Pichinecs are upgraded. There are many reliable places for attaching additional equipment. A grip is installed at a 45 degrees angle, so that it is convenient to bypass the magazine box. A telescopic and folding buttstock appeared, which can be conveniently adjusted for you. Adjust the cheek, adjust the length of the buttstock. See more information about products that we demonstrated on our website en.zenitko.ru. The list of our official partners is stated on en.zenitko.ru in Partners section. If you like the video, press the like button, follow our channel, and we will see you soon. Goodbye!